understanding Roman numerals. I can't resist getting into character for this one. I want the costume. OK, let's go. Roman numerals are math puzzle fun. It's ancient Rome's really cool numbering system based on just seven characters and it's still in use today. On some clocks and watches. On some buildings showing the date they were completed. At the end of a film to show the date it was made. And books sometimes list their chapters in Roman numerals too. It's fun to decode the number value from the letters and the longer the string of letters, the more fun it is. Here's how it works. The Roman numeral system is based on these seven key characters. I, which is 1, V, which is 5, X, which is 10, L is 50, C is 100, D is 500 and M is 1000. Every number the Romans used was composed of these letters in strict combinations. If I make a table, you will start to see the pattern. I'm going to count up to 20. Then I'll show you enough so that you can work out any number from 1 to 3,999. I can't start at 0 because the Romans didn't have a way to show that. Remember, we said 1 is I. Here's 2 and 3. We just add extra 1s. We've used the I character three times, so now it has to change. The next key character is V, that's 5. 4 is one less than 5, it's I, V. Putting the I in front of the V means one less than 5. And 6 is one more than 5, so it's V, I. Putting the I after the V means one more than five. Seven is five and two more. Eight is three more. We've got our maximum repeat of three I characters, so we change again. The next key character is X, that's ten. Red for whole tens. Nine is one less than ten, so it's I, X. Eleven is one more than ten, so it's X, I. 12 is 10 and 2 more, and here's 13. 14 is 10 plus 4, 15 is 10 plus 5, this is 16. You can see we are stating the full tens, then adding on appropriate ones amounts. So this is 17, and here's 18. 19 is one full 10, and 9 more, x, i, x. 20 is two tens. 30 is 3 tens, 39 is 3 tens plus 9. We've used the X character three times, so now when we come to 40, we're going to change again. The next key character is L, and that's 50. 40 is 10 less than 50, so it's XL. 60 is 50 plus 10, so it's LX. 70 is 50 plus 2 tens. And here's 80. You can count it up like this. 50, 60, 70, 80. 100 is C. Green for the whole hundreds amounts. 90 is 10 less than 100, so it's X, C. Here's 200 and 300. We've used C three times, so now we're on to the next key character. D is 500. 400 is 100 less, so that's C, D. 600 is 500 plus 100, so that's D, C. Here's 700, and this is 800. 1000 is M. This is 900. It's 100 less than 1000. Here's 2000, and surprise, surprise, this is 3000. OK. There you have the Roman numeral system, and with it you can show any value from 1 to 3,999. And now we have to try it out, of course. Let's try decoding three different Roman numeral values. Here's a reminder of the key characters from largest to smallest. 
Roman numerals are always written this way, greatest value on the left down to smallest value on the right. And here's our first Roman numeral. If I space the letters out, you'll find it easier to understand each part. L is 50, plus X is 10, plus IV is 4. That's 64. All we're doing is decoding the letter values and then adding up those number chunks. Next one, a bit longer this time. Rewrite it, spacing the characters out to make number chunks. D is 500, plus C is 100, plus L is 50, plus two tens are 20, plus two. That's 600, plus 50, plus 20 is 72, 672. I saved the longest one for last. Here's a clue, this one's a year. Space it out to get manageable number chunks. M is 1000. CM is 100 less than 1000. That's 900. L is 50. Three tens are 30. And here at the end, we've got 5, 6, 7, 8. You might like to make a note to help you. We've got 1000 plus 900 plus 50, 60, 70, 80, 8. 1,988. It's 1988. Now it's your turn to practice Roman numerals for yourself. Have fun decoding some. Think up your own numbers and write them in Roman numerals. Then quiz your friends, family and your teacher as you boost your math muscle.